make sure you unsubscribe where this should be and then dislike the video hey guys so uh yeah i'm playing brick breaks today mainly like just a how-to video on how to make a forklift uh if you don't know how to make a car then sorry you're screwed also i'll kind of be teaching you how to make a car two and one i guess well let's get to it so you want to get here i want to go ahead and show you the example i made i made this thing i'm going to make a much simpler version than this i'm not going to show you how to make like this curved stuff the antenna i'm just going to make a simple version how to not how to make that so the steering wheel just only how to make this this part and that okay let's get into it so first thing you want to do is just grab something like um go to here i'm gonna go to the four by four area i'm gonna get a six by then eight by four by one now I go back, put that any color you want it to be, I'm going to put it black. Okay, so, if you want to go down here, you can select something like a scalable brick. If you want to get a scalable brick, yeah, here. Then, let's drag it all the way to here. There we go. I'm gonna go to here, grab a eight by four by one, paint it black, I guess. Depends on you. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a something like a four by four by here. This, 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 and then you know. Just get another one of those. This. Copy and paste like that. And then boom. Got the yellow part. This is just going to be a simplified version. So, you know. Grab a chair. I'm just going to make it black too. Um. Then you want to grab a. What was it called again? Better axle. You want to put one down here. And then one right here. You put that there. And then you put this here. And you just invert the driven direction if it's facing backwards. There's facing backwards. And then in the back, you want to add a steering ang angle because it's where the steering angle will be. You want to make it negative 12. If you make it any higher or lower, it'll be too little or too much. Negative 12. Actually, you change that to negative 13, I guess. Okay. So, after that, you want to grab some wheels. Doesn't matter the size. Actually, just try grabbing some smaller wheels. Usually, the front wheels are bigger than the back wheels, so if you're trying to add detail, do that. Um, well, that. I'll be right back. Okay, just I had to go lock my door because I don't want my sisters barking and being annoying. So you want to grab something like I don't know, mud guard. Well, if you want a mud guard, but um, uh, yeah, if you save it, like, shift, save, and you go save it, it won't move. Merely the fact you don't have any engines, just get a motor, 
Make sure it's a small engine because it's you don't want your forklift driving as fast as possible. Just move it down a bit. Uh, that yeah, it's not gonna small. Usually that thing's gonna be bigger. Actually, I might be able to. Okay, one sec. Yeah, though, you want to add a motor onto the back part. That's where you're going to put the motor. Yeah. You just want to rise this up until, you know, everything's there. If you want to add a horn, go to sirens and then... Double, double siren. The only siren out there. Okay, here we go. This is actually how you make the escalator part. But I'm going to show you now. Thing turns. Yeah. I'm not going to go into detail about how to make it there. So you want to grab a 3x3, three three. you want to put it just right there, and move it over here and put it right here. Okay, that's done, so now you want to go to actuators. And you want to grab the 1 by one, times 1 times 6 bottom, and then just duplicate that right to right here. And grab the top for it, it'll be right next to it. Um, just page up all the way up for that. I'm not going to go over controls and stuff because, you know, I don't need to. So, you can either grab one of these or one of these for it. I'm going to need for the connecting to it. So, you want to put that there and put that there. Let's currently save that just in case my game crashes. Now, go to pillars. And then go to 1x6. And then put that there. And put that there. Now, here we go. For this part. So, um, you want to grab one and three. So, you want to grab one of the flat things. No, not the flat. Uh, what was I thinking? You want to grab this. Like this. Oh, a little too long. So you want to grab the 5 by 5 And, yeah, you got the actual forklift part done. Not fully done, but, yeah. You'll notice that it doesn't actually rise up. So what you want to do for it to rise up is... You want to go to here. You want to click... You want to shift and click both. Oh, you want to shift and click both of those. By the way, these are called pistons. So right here, you want to change the max direction to 90 for both of them. See how it's 90 for both, and then boom, boom. You want to change both of them to action one, and then cycle. Save it. Click exit the vehicle editor, and then. Boom. But you'll notice it's going up to a little too fast, so if it goes up too fast when you're turning and stuff, you'll notice that you'll fly off. So zero point five and then zero point five. Save it. And then boom. Yeah, also if you go too fast you can easily launch yourself up. And while you're going slower, you can easily get to your position better. And then boom. You're done. That's all you have to do. Yeah. So, uh, buy and subscribe. I'm just going to let the intro, outro play out. See ya.